we've been talking about fact and opinions. And I know a lot of you are like, why do you care about our opinions? Our opinions are very important because they help us make a better world. So this book, I love this book. It's about little kids and how the little kids are activists. An activist is somebody who um, tries to get things to change. Now, we saw a lot of protests this summer. Um, and uh, unfortunately, a lot of violence happened. But that's not usually how protests are. Usually protests are very peaceful. This is the Women's March that happens every year in January. But it's seen through the eyes of little kids, even even younger than you. So today I'm going to read this so you can hear the opinions of little kids. And then you are going to pick a cause that you feel strongly about. And you're going to make a poster like this little girl here has. Um, I want you to pick something. Maybe it's water pollution. Maybe it's, um, <laughs> maybe it's the fact that... Uh, you have to go to school for 180 days. Maybe you think that's too much or something that you really feel strongly about. So I'm not going to read the whole introduction, but this is about the first women's march that happened in 2017. And one of the reasons there was a women's march was because um, women do not get paid as much as men. Women have only had the right to vote for 100 years. It was in 1920. And it was a hard fought road to get us to be able to even vote. And in many professions, women have a hard time um, getting advances over men. So they decided to have a women's march. So, and I love this because it has your vocabulary words for this week too. Activism, taking action in order to create social change. Anyone can be an activist. Um, Carson at age 11, we need to make our generation a nicer one. If there's a mess, it's our job to fix it. And there's a the little boy. See, even that young, his scribbles, he's saying something. I read about other marches and I saw other kids marching to tell the bullies they were wrong. I thought I could do that too. Xaviana, age Five and a half. And there she is. She's got her cape on. If you want to make a, ch a change in the world, go ahead. Nobody can stop you. Eden, age nine. Feminism. The belief that women and men deserve equal rights, opportunities, and respect. Feminism means that women get to make their own decisions, can do anything they strive for. Caitlin, age six, says to all the little girls who are watching that doubt you will ever value, don't ever doubt that you're valuable and powerful. And that is Yvonne, or Jaina, age nine. Kids can do anything they set their minds to. You just have to. Keep speaking up and keep moving forward. And don't get discouraged if people don't take you seriously at first. Adults are harder to convince than kids. Boy, that's the truth. Mary, age nine. I'm a girl. I'm smart. I'm strong. I can do anything. And that is true. That's Eden, age nine. Girls should be treated fairly. This is Xander, age six. And this is Owen, age eight. Women are important. We will not be silenced. 17, 2017 Women's March. <laughs> be active. And that, oh, this is Alex, age two. Be active. If everyone starts fighting for what they believe in, we could change the world. Area, age nine. Democracy. A government that's run by the people. The people decide who is in charge by voting for free, fair, and frequent elections. The leaders have to tell the people what they're going doing in the government. If the people don't like what the leaders are doing, then at the next election they can vote for someone else. No one is guaranteed to be the leader. They only get to be in charge if the people are if they are chosen by the people. Eleanor and Abigail, age 6. Diversity makes America great. No hate in our neighborhood. Oh, where's this? little girl. They don't have her name. 
Um, Malika, age eight. It says, not in my neighborhood, no hate. I have a dream to live with love and peace. I dissent. Oh, RBG. Uh, Birdie, age 18 months. Um, Ruth Bader Ginsburg said that, and she's the justice that died this year. I care about equality in our country because I want to fight for those who don't have a voice and because I want to choose the kind of world I will inherit. Gabriella, age 13. The First Amendment writes, these are the things that every single person in the United States has the right to do and the government can't punish you for. Saying what you don't like about our country or its leaders, publishing and broadcasting your opinions and information, practicing any religion you want or no religion at all, assembling peacefully with a group of people like for a rally, a protest or a march, telling the government when you don't like what they're doing and asking them to change. This one says racism, equality, the future, climate change for her, women's right, science, that's why I march. We are the future and the future is bright. Immigrants, we get the job done. <laughs> that's from, um, this is Nora, age three, and this is Sophie, age five. If you've listened to ha Hamilton, immigrants, we get the job done is in Hamilton. And if you go see Hamilton live, it gets a huge cheer when you go see it. Protest. Disrupting the usual flow of things that order to call attention to, to an injustice or demand that it be changed. Some types of protest, you have boycotts, petitions, demonstrations, sit-ins, walkouts, picketing. Our lives begin and end the day we become silent about things that matter. Martin Luther King Jr. And this is peace and love always. Kids have a voice. We can change the world by taking a stand for our future. We can have shared dialogue and discussion about our ideals and learn to be respectful even when we hear something we don't agree with. Gabriella, age 13. She was already in here too, so she must. Girls should be treated equally. This is Amalia, age nine. Don't be scared to say what you mean and to share what you believe. If you do it kindly and respectfully, you can get your message across. Kennedy, age 11. I love naps, but I stay woke. <laughs> woke means that you are aware of all the issues going on. Freedom, the power to do as you see fit with your own body and your own property, as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else's body or property. To be free means to believe that what you want to believe and not have anyone else control you. You get to make your own decisions. Carson, age 11. Where there is oppression, there is resistance. Oppression means people hold you down and don't let you achieve things. This is Sophie and Emma, age 5. They must be twins. I, oh, this is, love is love. I marched before I walked. <laughs> Equality. Equality means having the same rights and to be treated fairly. One person is not better than another person. We are all important. No matter how much money we have or how pretty we are, our gender or our race. Carson, age 11. This land is everyone's land. I love everyone. Brennan, age 8. And Zuri, age 6. Mia Papa es inmigrante lo homo. Stella, age 11. It makes zero sense to say that people are different just because of their skin, different color, or they are, were born somewhere else. My sister has yellow hair. I have brown hair, but we're sisters, and I love her. Xaviana, page five and a half. Speak the truth, even if your voice shakes. That's my favorite quote right there. Maddie, age 14, future leader. <laughs> She's sleeping. <laughs> so this book, just wanted to show you, kids have opinions. Kids had strong opinions, and they they stand up for what they believe in. So your job today is to pick a cause, and you're going to make a sign. See the different signs? This is probably my cute, the cutest one. I love naps, but I stay woke. Um, future leader. 
I love everyone. The anti-bullying ones were good. Peace and love always. Immigrants, we get the job done. We are the future, and the future is bright. That's very true. The one on racism, I dissent, RBG, no hate, diversity makes America great. See all the signs? We will not be silenced. Girls should be treated fairly. Women are important. So you're going to pick something. It could be water pollution. It could be maybe you feel very strongly about how animals are treated. Um, I know a couple of my students are really, and their families are into animal rescues. Maybe... You feel strongly about um, climate change and recycling. So, or maybe you feel strongly about women's rights like these kids. This is, this is just a book. These, all these pictures were taken um, January 21st, uh, 2017, the first March. Um, and it's, it was a march, not a protest. It's, they're different. But you can see how the opinions of these children are important and yours are too so that's your only your assignment for reading today you're going to pick a, a cause and design a poster of something you believe strongly in and it's opinion it's an opinion we've been doing fact and opinion and reading now i told you the best opinions have facts to back them up but you do need to let people know your opinions because if you stay quiet all the time no one will ever know what you're thinking and that's not good so today's kind of a fun, I think a fun thing. I would, I, if I made a poster, I'd probably do it for pollution. I very, feel very strongly about pollution. I feel very strongly about racism. I could do a lot of posters. So you can pick one, or if you want to do more than one, fine. You just need to get, show me a picture. You can make it on Google Drawings. And um, Google Drawings is pretty easy. Just go to your your Google Drive. Let's see, I'll show you. If you go to Google Drive, go to your drive, and then you can go to drawings and you can make it digitally. Probably would be more fun to do it on paper, but if you want it, you go down, you go to more, and then you go to Google Drawings right here. Okay? So have fun with this. I can't wait to see your posters. I want to know what you feel strongly about. Okay, and maybe we can share them on our Zoom. I think that would be an awesome thing. So I have your poster ready to share on Zoom.